Hey folks, it's Gamescom 2013. Sean McGinnis and Seb Ford here. Yo. And Seb, you've just checked out Killzone Shadowfall. I sure have. Uh, they've demoed a lot of single player story content so yep. far, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh -huh. multiplayer debut? Multiplayer debut. So uh, they were showing War Zones. Now, War Zones, of course, is the game type in multiplayer that uh, dynamically changes uh, during the match. So it will start off. Um, with one game type, and by the end of it, you could be doing a uh, domination, you know, something else. So okay. uh, it changes during. But this time, they are now allowing you to completely recreate a game mode in, in, in any way, shape, or form. I'm talking like you can have leaderboards uh, of your own, uh -huh. you can create faction specific rules. So okay. you're like, You've got, um, say, one team, you, they can only be heavies mm -hmm. and they can only use m miniguns. Right. Uh, the other team, they're scouts and they can only use knives. Right. Okay? And then send them head to head. Uh, then you can check all the game rules, um, you know, friendly fire on and off, that, all that kind of stuff. You set that up and then it's instantly available to the whole community. Oh, the okay. idea is you don't have to go, oh, I quite like this, I'll share it. Right. Everyone can play it, anyone can take it on. The devs are going to be looking at it the whole time, going like, that's a cool one. Mm -hmm. Give it some promo. Right, yeah. The idea being that they wanted the community, they were very much saying they wanted the community to develop the kind of multiplayer experience they wanted. Really? But it was it was good and it yeah. plays well. Um, how do, how, I mean, how does it feel? Because previous Killzone games kind of had that heavy, weighty feel. Exactly to them. that. Really? That's exactly. That's the first thing I was thinking when I picked it up. Um, I was playing on a PS4 yeah. um, and it is. So it's lumbering. Like, it? I think that's that you know, especially for people who might be used to say like Call of Duty, right. like super nippy, yeah. fast. Uh, it's still plenty of chaos there, uh -huh. but it is it is sluggish and lumbering in a in a way that works for the, the game itself. Okay. Um, one thing that I noticed is that it's very um, you get quite disorientated mm -hmm. with with the speed and right. also things like little things. The fact that like your scopes aren't crystal clear; they're yeah. full of like lens blooms and stuff. You can't always see what you're shooting at, you know? Okay, interesting. Um, the map that I was playing today uh, was stormy and like you had wind and haze and rain and stuff getting in the way of stuff, but uh, in terms of how it played, definitely still got that sluggish feel. Your weapon takes up a huge portion of the screen. Often. Really? Yeah, so like your whole right-hand side of your screen is, you can't see anything. It's just gun. So it, it feels more claustrophobic in that kind of way, okay. but uh, yeah, it plays well. And how about the controller itself? DualShock 3, yeah. not a great first-person shooter controller. <laughs> how, how are those triggers? So um, the triggers, when I first picked it up, the first thing I did was hurl a grenade because I was ready to press R1, oh, yep. send, some, yeah. send some bullets down. Uh -huh. uh, they swapped them around. Wasn't immediately intuitive, I'll okay. be honest. I felt like it should still be that way around. Yeah. But the guys say you can swap that. If you, okay. if you prefer the, the old-style DualShock 3 method, that works. The bit that really made the difference, the, the grip is stronger, mm -hmm. the thumbsticks are lower, yeah. and of course you have a much greater level of resistance on the right, thumbsticks. Right, they're not all mushy. They're float, they were, they used to be so floaty, now yeah. that, and, and the precision is much better. Like cool. it's, it's right there. Awesome. Um, yeah, and uh, back on the, uh, on the actual game style type of thing, uh, the perks that you can kind of unlock uh, for your character, mm -hmm. They're not XP based, they're gonna be yeah. skill based, like challenge based. Okay. So they will be like, do this very specific thing 10 times, you can unlock your next bit. Nice. Um, and then, but to offset that, in game, and I'm talking in a single session, yeah. you can unlock minor forms of these perks called uh, honors. Uh -huh. And honors are unlocked by uh, XP built up in that session. You leave the game, they're all gone. But they're minor upgrades, so a little bit faster, a little less fall damage, a little less explosive damage. Um, but as uh, you know, two games of that, I, was, I felt good. Awesome. Felt good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, if you guys want to feel good, make sure to check out the rest of our Gamescom coverage, which you can do here on GameSpot.com all throughout the week.